Thank you, Ken. I'm here with Dr. Suri of the Oshner Sports Medicine Institute. We're trying to stay dry. It looks like we have a little bit of no rain to cover this interview, but how are you doing? It's great. We're staying dry so far, so we'll, we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day, but it looks dicey out here. Well, hopefully, you know, I worked so hard on my hair and makeup, so I'm trying to stay dry and <laughs> huddled under the stadium. But what is your involvement with the Sports Medicine Institute and specifically with John Curtis? So, um, John Curtis, I've been taking care of these guys for the last year, and uh, this is the second year taking care of them. And basically, basically taking care of the kids and, and the athletes and the, and the coaches and, and, and lots of the families, family members too, with uh, injuries of all types, basically. Um, shoulders, knees, hips, uh, elbow, baseball player elbows, those kinds of things. And, and it really goes, it's more than concussions as well. It's more than just, just a day-to-day -day thing. It's before the game, it's after the game, it's, it's involvement with you know, coughs, colds, and we'll, we'll refer those people out, those, those patients out to the, to the appropriate guys to, to get their, their expertise and opinions on those problems so that we can get these kids and athletes you know, back in the field safely, um, but as quickly as they want to be and can go back to the field. Yeah, and we know that the kids really are just worried about playing, but what do parents need to know about sports injury prevention? Well, that's a, that's a big topic, and it's a hot topic lately, and, and the main thing that we can do to teach our kids is, number one, I think sports specialization at a young age is, is a common thing now. And I think that's maybe counterproductive in some ways, Katie, because we got we to get these kids doing different sports, cross-train, and that, that really affects muscle development in different ways, especially in the hip core area, which can, can help prevent injuries of different lower extremity types, for example, hamstrings, ACLs, and those kinds of things. And the important thing for cross-training also is that they get to build their skills in different levels, which may help them in both sports as, as well. For example, we know that spatial awareness can, can be helped, for example, with soccer. Tracking the ball in space is really helpful for kids, and, and that can help them on the football field too, for example, for a receiver, for a cornerback. So different, different uh, skills also get improved with cross-training as well, in addition to the physical uh, muscle strength as well. And what are the most common injuries that you see with young athletes? Probably most common would be, uh, like in the football field, for example, ankle sprains are common. Uh, knee injuries are very common, of course. You know, lower extremity injuries in the football field are, are, are quite common. Uh, AC shoulder separations are common, too. Um, those are the non-surgical things that are common. But unfortunately, we do see a lot of surgical problems, such as uh, ACL injuries. And, you know, we try to, try to teach the kids to prevent, as we talked about, uh, to prevent and do exercises to prevent and build those prevention exercises into, the, into their training regimen to help them not, not get injured. And so how would we contact you and where are you located? We're at uh, 1201 South Clearview um, and uh, the, the uh, office phone is 736-4800 and uh, we have a Saturday clinic so we uh, see all the kids uh, basically from all over the place. Thank you very much and we're going to toss a break, stick around for the second half of this Halloween matchup.